Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Today we're going to look at Psalm 129. Psalm 129. This is another one of the Songs of Ascent. So keep in mind as we read these Songs of Ascent, these were traditionally sung on the way up to the temple or on the way up to Jerusalem for feast days. So these are really focused on the idea of corporate worship. So follow along with me in your Bible as I read Psalm 129, a song of ascents. Many times they have assailed me from my youth up. Let Israel now say, many times they have assailed me from my youth up. Yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back. They lengthened their furrows. Yahweh is righteous. He has cut up the cords of the wicked. Let all who hate Zion be put to shame and turned backward. Let them be like grass upon the rooftops, which dries up before it grows up, with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the binder of sheaves the fold of his garment. As those who pass by will not say, the blessing of Yahweh is upon you. We bless you in the name of Yahweh. In this passage, the psalmist celebrates the protection of the Lord, but he does so by focusing on the enemies of the people of God and their treatment. And so we learn really three things in this psalm about the enemies of God. First, we learn that the enemies of the people of God are many. There are many enemies against the people of God. We also learn that the enemies of the people of God are persistent. He talks about many times from his youth up, he has been assailed. He has been attacked by the enemies of God's people. But most importantly, we see that the enemies of the people of God are perishing. He uses this illustration of the rooftop, which would have been packed mud, and how sometimes grass would grow there, but it wouldn't grow up tall. It wouldn't grow up even enough for the reaper to bother with. And that is used to illustrate the fact that though God's, the enemies of God's people are many, and though they are persistent, they are perishing. And friends, this reminds me of how the Lord promised that he would build his church and the enemies, that even the gates of Hades would not prevail against it. We are protected as the people of God by the ultimate righteous judge, and we should take great comfort in that. So how do we pray in light of this psalm? Well, let me encourage you to pray to God for protection and that he would help you to trust in his protection and then praise him for his righteous judgment. Pray for, for protection and praise God for his righteous judgment. What an amazing thing to rest in the protection of the Almighty God for his people. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.